it has been a long time coming. Steve Bannon's conviction was upheld by a unanimous three-judge panel of the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, his incarceration has been delayed pending that appeal. So, presumably, he's going to be going to prison soon for multiple months. And speaking of people in prison for multiple months, we have Peter Navarro here. He is now trying to have an emergency motion for resentencing, and I thought it was appropriate to mention it here because I've not mentioned it before, and his reasoning's really funny. So if we scroll down and we go through enough, they're going to talk about why he should be released. And they mention here, this is about Matt Gates. <laughs> so there was a story that went out about how Matt Gates wasn't allowed to meet with him, and this is the, uh, the way they're wording it in this. Dr. Navarro's term of imprisonment has been marred by the same political turmoil that gave rise to his prosecution. Uh, he has been denied the opportunity to speak both with the press as well as a member of Congress. Indeed, when the director of the Bureau of Prisons was asked about why a sitting member of Congress could not speak to Dr. Navarro, he was informed that Dr. Navarro is, quote, too notorious to be interviewed. This despite the same member being permitted to tour the facility where Dr. Navarro is imprisoned and to interview a prisoner convicted of participating in the events of January 6, 2021. Now, I do want to make something very clear. They're saying here that he toured and also interviewed a prisoner. If you go to the bottom, there are links to tweets. And if you go to these tweets, it's very clear. No! Matt Gates got to tour the facility but he did not get to interview the J6er. It's blatantly spelled out in the tweets. Why are they lying? I don't know why they're lying. I, I, I don't know why they're lying. But, and they continue, on a more personal note, defense counsel has been denied the request to visit Dr. Navarro unless they agree to do so on the weekend. So they're saying, listen, listen, it's so important we meet with this man that everyone gets to meet with him. Everyone should be able to meet with him. But we don't want to come on a weekend, guys. And that's basically they're trying to get him out early um and i thought i'd mention it in case he somehow succeeds you know but uh steve bannon looks like his luck has run out the uh, uh, appeals process from my understanding is done for him but i'm sure just like peter navarro's team even once in prison they'll continue trying stuff like this so don't think this will be the last you've heard of steve bannon while he's in prison 